Welcome to Kenwood Metajam All Stars release entitled Show No Fear. Let's all have unity of purpose. One and all. Let's all have unity of purpose. One and all. The album project I'm working on is called Show No Fear, and it's on Groove Economy Records, and it's by Kenwood Metajam All Stars. It's the first record of a new concept that I have where I'm really trying to groove not just my own drum set, not just my own band, but the, the world. We got Vernon Reed, Stanley Jordan, Alexander Anderson, Wes Worth on the bass, Kenwood you know it on drums. We collaborate, we call it meta jamming. You know, it's not just jamming, but it's empathetic grooving. It's, it's, it's um, meticulous attention to each other. I think it's the idea of taking creativity in music and approaching it from a bigger perspective, from a higher level, from a sort of a enhanced vocabulary of possibilities. You know, it's like this idea that that there's a you don't just play anything. You kind of you, you really are listening to add to the ongoing structure and even the structure of the tune can shift and change and really the drums are defining not just defining the room but defining the space that everything happens in <laughs> What I liked about Kenwood's project, right from the start, there was, they had an essence of human beings playing music and playing music together. I feel like um, Kenwood is doing something that really needs to be done, that's not being done enough. Because there's a lot of kind of like old school, funky, fusion-y, jazzy kind of stuff. Like, like um, I think, um, mixing the, the rock sound and in, in the jazz um, and, and mixing some like, you know, deep pocket funk. You know, usually in jazz, you have a structured part and an improvisational part. With this band, we have the improvisational part which becomes the structure. this idea that he calls groove economy and so he's sharing that concept with the musicians that he's working with on this record he's sharing that concept with the audience it's a groove meaning um, agreement connection collaboration and that has currency with me too I believe you know I mean I don't know if music can change the world but there's nothing quite 
like music that hits us on an emotional level. I like how you put messages into a lot of the songs. Mm. That's important because a lot of the music that I grew up with was all about giving positive messages to mm -hmm. the world. And I kind of thought, well, that's one of the main purposes of music. Me too. So I, I was kind of like surprised when it turned out that that wasn't really true. <laughs> <laughs> when I was like, okay, I'm ready for the world. Yeah. But it, it wasn't the world that I was spending all the time getting ready for. <laughs> right. So thanks for bringing back the world that I actually <laughs> oh, like beautiful. practiced for. All right. Can we all get along? Can we create justice in our environment? Yes, no, now, soon, later, maybe. It's already off the chain with nobody in the room, but, but uh, you know, if you put an audience in there, it just like ups the ante. You know, the energy levels just go, go up. I'm excited for Kenwood to share this record with the world. I really am, and uh, again, I come from a prog rock background, and I can tell you, if you're a prog rock fan, this is a record you're gonna like. If you're a fusion jazz guy, this is a record you're gonna like. And frankly, if you are a fan of good melodic pop stuff and rock stuff, there's so much there. There's instrumental music, and there's, there's vocal music. There are hooks. There's some really great playing. And most importantly, there's a great message. So Kenwood Metajam All-Stars is doing a live gig at Berkeley. We're going to take the footage from that live show and release it in September along with the release date. Stay tuned for all the details at Kenwood's website. That's going to be the hub for where we're going to be streaming. We'll be watching the video along with everybody else. So I'm hoping that there will be a lot of fun interaction between Kenwood and the audience and also with his bandmates, I'm hoping some of them will be online for it as well. Um, so it should be a lot of fun.